Hi Stampers, Rose Grunewald here coming at you from my Stampin' Studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful book using the March Paper Pumpkin Kit that can hold some wildflower seed packets. I love it when I can take uh, my Paper Pumpkin Kit and make some alternative projects. So let's get started right away. The first thing I did was I took the envelopes for the cards and I think you could even throw a seed packet in there and I separated them from the rest of the pieces that were kind of folded and glued together so that all I'm left with is the piece that says flower seeds and the piece that has this kind of writing um, on it and these are going to go on the front and back of our seed booklet. So I just cut those apart by trimming the edges with my stamp and trimmer. We'll set those aside for now, but we'll need them later. The next thing I did was I cut a card base out of fresh fig. And this is five and a half by nine and a half. And it's scored at four and a quarter and five and a quarter. So that we've got four and a quarter on each side and this one inch for the seam binding of our book. Once that is all scored, we can just fold up the score lines and burnish those edges. I will need that in just a bit. Okay, the next thing I did here was create some layers to go on the inside of our uh, booklet to make these edges a bit more sturdy. So this is cut at uh, five and a quarter inches by four. And then we've got a fresh fig layer. This is crumb cake. We've got a fresh fig layer that's just one quarter of an inch smaller. So we're going five by three and three quarters. And I'm going to glue these together. And then we'll do the same for these other layers, which are the same dimensions. Now I wanted to go with the same vintage theme that these uh, papers have. I think they're just gorgeous. And so what I did to make sure that my layers on my alternative project match that was did a little sponging around the edges with some early espresso. So I'm gonna come in here with my Stampin' Sponge and we're just gonna sponge those edges to give them a distressed antiqued look. Once you've got some of the ink off, then you can kind of go ahead and wash it over your cardstock. And we'll do the same with this layer. All right. Now we're ready to adhere these layers to the inside of our booklet base. Now make sure you check out my blog uh, because I'll list all the dimensions if you didn't catch them. I'll list them all in my blog. Now I'm putting these again like I said on the front and the back inside so that we get a bit sturdier more a more sturdy card base so that these seeds don't make these um, the cardstock kind of flop over and bend okay the next thing we need to do is uh, put our pockets in here and I've got one done but I'm going to show you how I did how I created this this is a piece of crumb cake cardstock and it's cut to four and a half by four and a half. 
Now it's scored at two inches, two and a half inches, and then this other side here is another two inches. And it's scored at one half and one half on each end. So just like with our card base, we're going to fold along the score lines, burnish those edges so we get a nice crisp seam. And then we need to do some snipping so that we can uh, assemble this pocket. So I'm going to snip up at the short seams here where the um, two score lines intersect. And then just so that I don't have some bulk at the seams where I'm folding, I'm going to come in and just trim these little tags off at an angle. And again, that's just getting rid of the bulk of all the paper layers where we're going to be folding these two together. Now we're ready to assemble our pocket. And so we're going to take the little tabs first and put just a touch of glue, fold them up. And adhere to the uh, side tabs. And then once that's secured, you can put some glue on the inside of your side tabs on the other layer, fold those over. Match up the edges as best you can and adhere. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. Oops. Okay, once these pockets are done, Again, I want to keep with the vintage antique theme, so I'm just going to sponge around the edges of that pocket. And after they're sponged, we're now ready to adhere to our card base. I'll call it a booklet base, right? And I'm going to use my bone folder to get in here and just make sure that it's all intact and secured. And then we'll do the same with the other side. Now I'm using liquid glue for this project. It's very easy to move these pieces around and place them where you want to because that liquid glue doesn't dry immediately. You have a little bit of forgiveness, if you will, if you don't place it just perfect the first time. Okay, the next thing I did was I punched out some of the pieces from the uh, paper pumpkin kit. Uh, on the inside, I'm going to be using this leaf, the two flowers, pink and yellow, and then this banner. So first I'm going to stamp a little greeting on the banner. I'm using the hello sentiment that came in the kit. And then I'm going to glue that down on our pocket. Now 
Now I'm going to come in with our pieces that we punched out and I'm going to glue the leaves down. that and then we'll want to put the flowers down so I'm gonna glue the pink up here And then I'm going to take a dimensional and I'll pop up that yellow flower so we get a little depth here and I'll do that right here. Okay, now the inside of our project is done and it'll close like this. So we're ready to assemble the front. The first thing I want to do is make our tie and so I'm going to use the ribbon that came with the kit. This is a fresh fig finely woven ribbon that's also available in the big catalog if you love it. And I'm just going to measure this out and the extra I'll set aside. I'm going to get this about even. So I've got my booklet closed and just setting the ribbon where I would like it. And then I'm taping it down. Now I'm not worried that this is going to show through because I've got a layer, the seed packet layer that's going to, that really pretty paper that's going to cover the top of that. Okay, so now on the back side, I'm going to use um, this one that has the all the words across it, and I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals so that I've got room for my ribbon to kind of shift around as needed when I tie it to close my seed booklet. Okay, I'll get this centered. Oops, I forgot to take the paper off of this dimensional. <laughs> there we go. Now our back is done and we just need to mount the paper on the front. By the way, I, I was super excited when I saw this huge sheet of dimensionals in the paper pumpkin kit. I always kind of raid my kits for extra supplies. And this sheet of dimensionals is awesome. Okay. And we're going to center this. All right, the next thing I want to do is a little stamping on the front of my card. So I punched out this tag from the kit and I'm going to come in here with the sentiment that says make good things grow all year long. For a touch of detail, I'm coming in with the flour and my crumb cake, and I'm going to stamp off and then stamp right over the corner of that tag to add a subtle flower onto it. Now, the next thing I did was take some of these stickers. And I just ripped them to the length that I wanted them. 
adhere the stickers to the front. And if these um, don't stay sticky, I noticed the more I played with them with my fingers, they kind of lost their stickiness. No problem, just put some glue on there. And I took a piece of Baker's twine. You're gonna wrap that around your fingers. I used three fingers, I wrapped it around a few times. And just kind of pull apart these layers. And I'm gonna glue that right down to my card front. Again, I'm not too worried about the tape peeking out because I'm going to have this label popped up over the top. So grab a couple more dimensionals here. Add here. And we're done. Now all that's left is to grab some seed packets. Stick them in our pockets. And we've got a beautiful booklet of seed pack to give away as a gift. Now all you need to do to close this book is tie this in a bow, just like you're tying your shoes. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I also made a card to go with it. And again, I used all the pieces from the paper pumpkin kit. I used their fresh fig card base. I did not trim these papers at all. In fact, I'll show you. This is exactly how these papers come in the kit. I didn't trim them, I just, Adhered them at an angle. Use some more of those sticky strips. Wrap some baker's twine around here. <clears throat> I did a watercolor wash, some subtle flowers, the happy birthday sentiment. And then because it was a five year anniversary, we got this wonderful gift from Stampin' Up. And I just stuck a couple of those behind the sentiment, stamped the inside of the card, and that's how quick that came together. And now I've got a gift set, card and seed booklet to give away to somebody special. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I plan to do a lot more videos and I don't want you to miss anything. Also, check out my blog for the dimensions for these projects. CountryCardsByRose.com is my website address where my blog is. Also, make sure you go to my Facebook page and like my Facebook page, Country Cards by Rose. Every Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time, I go online and I do some live stamping with you all. And that's a really fun time, so you don't want to miss it. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you have a great rest of your day.